South Africa's Akane Simbine has always been on the cusp of winning an Olympic or World Championship medal. Despite being one of the best 100m sprinters in the world over the past few years, including winning gold at the Commonwealth Games and African Championships, as well as having a personal best of 9.84 seconds, he has always come up just short when it comes to the global finals. 5th in 2016, 5th in 2017, 4th in 2019, 4th in 2021, and 5th in 2022. Always in the mix, but never right where he wants to be. 2022 was especially tough as, along with his World Championship 5th place, he finished 2nd at both the African Championships and Commonwealth Games, losing his two titles to Kenya's Fernand Omanyala. With a wave of young sprinters on the rise in the 100 meters, not only across Africa, but around the world as well, it begs the question, can Akane Simbine finally break over the hump and make it onto a world championship or Olympic podium? Um, just hunger, you know, and always wanting to be better and always coming to, to, to get a medal and chase after that medal, you know. I'm, I'm one athlete that I'll make the final and I'll just miss out on the medal, but I'll just keep on knocking the door because I really believe that once that door opens, it's gonna open big. So it's one thing where I'm just I'm motivated by, by that, you know, and I just wanna keep on knocking on the door until it opens. Backtracking a bit in his career, Simbine first competed at the World Championships in 2013. Just 19 years old at the time, he didn't even make it out of the 100 meter heats in Moscow. A year later though, he managed to make the finals of the 200 meters at the Commonwealth Games, finishing fifth place there, which was his initial taste of running through the rounds against top competition. At the 2015 World Championships, he improved on his last showing in Moscow, and this time made it to the semifinals in both the 100 and 200 meters. This was proof that he was making progress and getting more comfortable on the biggest stages. In addition, at the Universidad that year in South Korea, Simbine ran 9.97 seconds, which was a South African national record and his first time under the 10 second barrier. His first Olympics would further prove that he was meant to be amongst the best in the world. A month prior to the 2016 Olympics, Simbine ran 9.89 seconds, a huge personal best and put him in the conversation along with names like Justin Gatlin, Andre de Grasse, and others behind Usain Bolt. At those Rio Olympic Games, Simbine made it all the way to the Olympic final, finishing fifth place in a time of 9.94 seconds, just three hundredths of a second away from winning a medal. But despite not making it onto the podium, he saw what was possible and was determined to finally make it there. 2017 was a year of consistency where Simbine ran sub 10 seconds on eight separate occasions, double what he had done in 2016. But unfortunately, at the World Championships that year, Simbine again had to settle for a fifth place finish in the final. Again, just missing out on a podium spot. The 2018 off year is where Simbine really shined. First at the Commonwealth Games in Australia, Simbine took the gold medal in a clear victory over the rest of the field. This was a huge moment as he became the first South African man to win 100 meter gold at the Commonwealth Games. He followed that up later in the summer at the African Championships, winning the gold medal in the 100 meter dash there as well. Now, though it was an off year with no world championships or Olympics, these two wins gave Simbine an amazing amount of confidence on what would be possible in the upcoming Olympic cycle. Enter 2019, and Simbine starts off hot, running 9.95 and 9.92 seconds to open up his 100 meter season. Along with a 100 meter win at the London Diamond League in 9.93, Simbine was feeling extremely confident and ready to finally go for his first podium spot. Well, at the 2019 Doha World Championships, after comfortably making it through the rounds, Simbine would unfortunately once again come up short, this time finishing fourth place in the 100 meter final, again, just barely off the podium. Though things were not going his way, his second Olympics were still ahead of him. And despite the off year in 2020, he used that to his advantage and prepared accordingly. In 2021, in addition to running sub 10 seconds three times early in the year, Simbine ran 9.84 seconds in the 100 meter dash, just three weeks before the Olympic games, a new personal best and proof that he was in the form of his life. But as the Olympic final came, Unfortunately, things continued on the same trajectory as they had always been. Simbine would finish fourth place in the Olympic final, again, just barely off the podium in that 100 meter dash. Now, here in 2022, once again, Simbine unfortunately finished fourth place in the World Championship 100 meter final, 
giving him a string of five consecutive fourth and fifth place finishes at global championships. What was also tough about the 2022 season was that Simbine finished second place to Kenya's Fernand Omanyala at the African Championships and the Commonwealth Games, losing his titles that he had won four years prior in 2018. Simbine's story and career is not over yet though. At just 29 years old, he is still one of the greatest 100 meter sprinters in the world right now and consistently going toe to toe with others at both global championships and Diamond League meets. With three consecutive championships coming up in 2023, 2024, and 2025, Simbine again will have another shot at making it onto the podium. It will of course be a very tough task and will take an extra gear to finally get over the hump of the fourth and fifth place finishes. But Simbine has shown that he has the potential. Putting it together when it really counts though is going to be what really matters most. Let me know what you think about Akane Simbine and if you think he will make it onto a 100 meter podium in either 2023, 2024, or even 2025. Be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and be back again next time. Thanks for watching. But for me, it's, it's, it's always that thing of, you know, I have to prove the world wrong. For some reason, like, my career has always been proving the world wrong. You know, and every time I, I, I make a final, I'm the only African in the final, you know, and, 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 and it's like the world doesn't recognize Africa as a sprinting continent and we are really that talented and that good, you know, and for me to represent them in the final is really amazing, you know, it's really great and, and just people just don't view us as, you know, that great, but just to be able to do that and prove everybody wrong, 